Hey guys, we are finally going to crack open the latest Voltron lines from Playmates Toys. These are the Voltron 84 series that they have recently released. Uh, so we've had the Legendary Defender Voltron from the Netflix series. We've also had the diecast version of that, and now they are releasing the large combining lions and uh, you can pretty much find these everywhere now i'm just finally getting the time to actually take a look at them so we've got uh, the four limb lions come in blister cards this is the same kind of packaging that they did for the legendary defender lions uh, so we've got the voltron 84 logo there we've got you know all this classic style artwork we got the uh, call out of their action features obviously the lions are in the bubble and then the back has uh just a product shot, we've got Voltron there, we've got more action callouts, things like that. Very 80s looking design with the layouts and then this, uh, you know, kind of grid background they've got. So all the limb lines look like that. And then we've got this big guy here. So the uh, black lion comes in his own box and he's got the try me button there. So he does all kinds of uh, voices and phrases and sound effects, the whole deal, just like the Legendary Defender did. So we're gonna be going through that as well. But I really dig this packaging. It's the same kind of packaging, again, that they did for the Legendary Defender Lions. Uh, I think it looks very good. Very much an 80s call out. So, you know, I'm down for that. So let's pull these guys out and take a look. All right, guys, so here are our lions out of the box. So we've got our blue lion, we've got green, we've got red in the back yellow over here, and of course we've got black in the center. So what I'm going to do is we're going to talk about them individually, obviously. I'm not going to do them all at once. We'll talk about the limbs, and then we'll talk about the black line. We'll show off some of the electronics, and we'll do some combining. I figured we'd start with the smallest of the lions, so that's green, that's red, uh, the arms, and they all, the, all the lions, the legs, and the arms, rather, they all come with various accessories. So we've got the blades that lock into their mouths, and of course they're color-coded to match their respective line. They all are also unique in sculpt as well, so they all look uh, unique for one line or the other. And then they've got little extras that peg into the ports on the legs. One is more of a decoration. You know, it's an extra add-on, kind of a gun. It's just, you know, a little gun emplacement. So they, they can rotate, but they don't do anything. And then they all have firing projectiles that also lock into their legs. Um, you know, just to show you, you know, there's one. There's no telling where that went. I'll have to track that one down. But, uh, you know, they do go pretty far. I shot myself in the face with the first one that I plugged in because I put it in and then I hit the button um, while I was looking at it. So I'm sure there's a warning on the box that says not to do that. So you've been warned. But as far as uh, as far as these guys go, I think they're pretty good. I, I'm I'm kind of of the opinion when I've been looking at these lines that, you know, obviously there's two halves to a Voltron set. There's the lions and then there's Voltron. And in general, I think, usually anyway, uh, the the, the eventual set will lean one way or another. So they're going to be better as lions or they're going to be better as Voltron. I think these are a little better as lions than the finished Voltron product. But because I'm getting, you know, a lot of good feelings when I look at these. They look very much like the classic counterparts. They very much remind me of the cartoon. And they just are solid toys. They don't have tons and tons of paint apps. Most of the, well, most of what you're seeing here is molded plastic. But, uh, you know, where, where we do have paint is applied pretty well. Uh, obviously, they have articulation, but it's not tons. So we've got, you know, ratcheted legs and knees. They've got uh, articulation at what, what would be the ankles. The mouths are articulated. And I didn't peg that in right. So mouths are articulated. And then the tails move as well. And this is probably the one thing that I don't like about these particular lines, because this only applies to these two. Uh, the Legendary Defender, the Net Netflix Voltron, had this as well. I think all of them did this on that one, though. Where the tails for these lines are these, this flimsy uh, kind of plastic, and they go inside, but they really don't like being in there. And it's kind of a bother. Uh, it really, really bugs me, especially when he's transformed into Voltron, uh, how you actually get to... You know, lock those tails down. It's kind of weird. Um, that's, that's my, I think that's probably my one big pain point with this thing, is uh, is that that is just kind of odd. I, I wish it was a different design choice. I wish it was a rigid piece of plastic that folded over, or that just went inside would be fine as well. I'd prefer it to go inside. Uh, you know, the green line does it as well. But they just go in, and you know, they either want to go in or they don't. They kind of go all over the place once they're in there, and eventually they're just going to pop back out again. Uh, obviously, being the arms, they are hinged in the middle, so they've got extra articulation where the legs 
the leg lines, blue and yellow, don't. But as far as the lines themselves, outside of the tail, I really dig these. I like the extras that they come with. Um, they just add a little bit of flair to them, especially if you were going to display them, you know, just as the lions. So yeah, let's take a look at uh, yellow and blue now. Okay, so we did the arms. Obviously, the legs are next. And it's kind of the same story here. So these are bigger lions. They're obviously different designs. They, you know, they have slightly different articulation in terms of just the overall bodies. But in terms of the legs, that's pretty much the same kind of stuff. So we've got the individual mouth blades. They're obviously different. Uh, the yellow one is kind of weird. I think the paint is, is applied a little bit too thinly. You can kind of see uh, lighting in here is probably not very good, specifically with this particular piece. But you can see the gray through the yellow paint. I think it needed another coat. Um, but what else is painted is pretty good. Uh, the eyes on the blue lion have the same kind of problem though because it's yellow and they almost look green because you can see the blue. But these guys have the extra, uh, you know, uh, accessories that peg into their legs and I kind of put them on kind of haphazardly with these. So we've got a three-pronged uh, missile launcher for the blue and we've got another two-pronged launcher for the yellow here. And the same kind of thing. It's one projectile that just looks like two, which I'm perfectly fine with. Otherwise, there's no telling how quickly I would lose them because I do plan on playing around with these at least a little bit. Um, but I do dig these designs. They very much, just like the arms, look like the classic lions. They look like the show. Uh, so I'm very happy with them. I mean, they very much evoke an 80s uh, nostalgia type look for me. And, you know, I'm all about that, so that's all right. And But as far as articulation goes on these guys, you know, it's the same ratcheted legs and knees and ankles. And then the tails on these guys, thankfully, fold up their, uh, their rigid plastic. So they're not the same. They flip in and out. And then these guys, since they're the legs, the heads can move uh, a little bit more. And then, of course, the necks move because they have to adjust for being the feet. But the overall design, I think, is solid. I'm very much happy with these as just lions. Again, just like what I said with uh, red and green, I think these kind of excel in the lion department. Maybe a little bit more than they excel at being overall Voltron. I really, really, I, can't, I cannot stress it enough. I really, really dig how these look just in their lion forms. If they didn't form Voltron, I honestly don't know if I'd be too upset about that uh, because they do just look the part. You can obviously tell that they are mass marketed toys you know they're very much just mostly molded plastic again but they look really cool i mean that's that's really what it comes down to for me they look cool they look the part i do prefer these over red and green i've always been partial to blue and yellow just my own personal preference so don't don't take that as meaning one is better than the other uh, but i just really like the designs because they are definitely different types of lions they're you know they just look different uh, but these are very cool i'm very very happy with them and overall i think uh you know like i said these excel at being just lions. Obviously, the black lion is going to be saved for last. He's the big one. He's the core. He is the main lion. So uh, this guy is obviously a little different. He's bigger. Let me show you just in comparison to yellow lion. So you can get an idea. There is some tremendous girth about uh, the black lion here. And in general, I think he looks pretty good. I do have slight complaints about this lion because he doesn't come with anything else. There's no other accessories for this guy and I'm assuming that is one because of the fact that he's a larger lion. He's obviously got a higher price point just out the gate but he also has all the electronics. So I'm assuming there's some sort of uh, costing out of things there as well. He does however suffer from the same problem I've seen with the yellow paint. So the uh, piece here on the back that has, this is actually the button to turn them on and off, uh, yellow paint, and you can see through it to the black plastic underneath. Uh, so there's definitely some paint application issues, specifically with yellow paint on this line, that it just needed another coat. I find it, just find it kind of weird. Um, beyond that though, he looks pretty good. I'd say he's honestly just kind of a standard line, really, just bigger. So we've got more articulation with this guy just because of the fact he does do more. So his legs, you know, can go all the way down, things like that. But he's still got the ratcheted joints. He still moves at the shoulders, at the knees, at the ankles, all that same stuff. You're not going to get him into tons and tons of poses. And that's that's true for all of the lions because there's really, 
you know, you got to find those sweet spots for where the legs line up correctly so that he's on the ground in a certain way without leaning to one side or looking kind of goofy. Uh, the jaw is hinged, obviously, because, you know, there's a head in there. But, uh, you know, the jaw is hinged so he can open his mouth. He does have, like I said, he does have the electronics. So just like if you're familiar with the the Netflix uh, Legendary Defender figure or uh, Combining Lions, there is electronics at play, so he makes sounds. There is voices and things like that. So there's a button. Well, power switch is on the top, so you can on and off. Uh, and then there's a button on the side. And there's a ton of different things that it does uh, depending on what you're doing. Activate laser blades! See? Uh, so there's that. Um, so yeah, you've got the, the option to have that. I don't really care one way or the other. It's cool. You know, as a kid, I would have been all about it. It doesn't it doesn't matter to me one way or the other as an adult. Now, as far as the rest of the, the line, you can just see underneath, we've got the crest here. Paint apps are good. We've got the different colors. Got some gold in there. Uh, just not tons and tons of paint on this guy. We do have a ratcheted tail because it's going to have to flip up. And then we've got, you know, the wings, the wings on the back as well. So, yeah, I mean, he's he's really cool. I think he's a good-looking lion. I'm very happy with the overall design that they've got going for these. It's very much, like, I, I think I've said it enough already, very much evokes a classic lion, 80s-style cartoon look, which, of course, I'm all about. So, um, let's just go ahead and uh, transform him. All right, so for the sake of doing a transformation, I'm not going to do it on camera. I'm not going to actually transform him. I don't like watching people do that. I'm sure I'm going to mess it up or look like an idiot transforming these, although the transformation is actually very, very simple. Uh, you likely won't need the instructions for this, but, you know, they all come with them if you do. So we've got our core here, and we've got our legs, so yellow, blue, and the gimmick for uh, the voices and the sounds is that it recognizes what you are combining. So we've got our legs. Green Lion, armed for battle. Glad you're on board, Pidge. Ready to form Voltron. Activate interlocks. Dynatherms connected. Infracells up. All right, so there he is in all of his transformed glory. Uh, the sword obviously is not part of the transformation sequence. I just figured I'd wait until we had him transformed to show. So we've got the blazing sword. I do think it's kind of lacking in the paint department because it is just uh, cast in silver, kind of metallic-y plastic, but it looks good. It's got the right design. The sword and the shield will uh, peg into their lion's roof of the mouth, just like with the the individual lion weapons, they've got the, the peg on the top, so they can stand in there and they're a bit sturdier. They're not going to fall out either. Uh, but they look really good. I'm very much happy with this. Uh, he does seem to be kind of wobbly. Pitch, talk to me. Are you hurt? No, I can handle it. And of course you can hit the button just like I did over and over and over again. But he does seem kind of wobbly. It's not to the point where I think he's going to fall over though, so I'm kind of okay in that regard. And he very much looks like Voltron. He's kind of blocky. Looks kind of blocky to me. You know, like I said, where I think he's kind of maybe a little bit better just in terms of lions only. But he definitely looks like a cool, big Voltron. Um, very much happy. So I'm going to take a second and we are going to do a quick comparison. Not with other Voltrons because I don't really have a lot that are accessible. Um, but we're going to take a look at this guy next to the legendary Defender Voltron just to get an idea of what was and what is. All right, so here they are next to each other. I think it's pretty obvious there's a humongous difference in style. 
Uh, I, of course, I mean, I'm always going to prefer the original, but I do like the Netflix show. I do like the design. I mean, it's, it's a new Voltron. It's a new, it's a new thing. I can't, I'm not going to fault its design. Uh, it definitely looks cool. I am going to say I unequivocally prefer the new one. And there's numerous reasons. I mean, not only because of the fact that, you know, it's my preferred look, uh, but this particular Voltron, at least for me, is about as unsturdy as it gets, especially over time. It was a little better when I first got him a little over a year ago, I think, is when it was. Uh, but now he he has a really hard time standing up. I'm surprised it hasn't started to creak and start to crack and fall over now. Uh, he's doing pretty good. Um, but yeah, I would prefer this look. I prefer this one. I think it's uh, what I mentioned, it being a little blockier. You know, you can see it just looks a little blockier. Uh, to me anyway. I think it's helping with its sturdiness and its rigidity being able to stay up. But uh, yeah, I've been having to lean him up against the wall a little bit from time to time. I do prefer the sword on the newer Voltron to the old one, at least in toy form. This is always the classic, the cool one. Um, but yeah, there they are next to each other. They're basically the same height, you know, they're 20-ish inches tall or something like that. So you get an idea just if you have them displayed next to each other, what they're going to look like. They're definitely going to look very cool in your display, no matter which one you prefer. I am very much happy to have added this new classic Voltron 84 entry into the into the series, and it's going to look really well on my shelf with a bunch of big mech type stuff, just a lot of big stuff. So yeah, that's going to do it for this look at the Playmates Toys Voltron 84 Transforming Lions. Let me know what you guys think. There is a like button down below. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know. Uh, if you've gotten this, let me know what you think. Um, if you prefer it to the old, if you prefer, prefer the old to the new, let me know. I'm interested in your thoughts. Until next time, guys.